What's up, guys? It's Alia here at CES 2025, and some of the biggest things announced are the new generation NVIDIA graphics cards that are going to take PC gaming to the next level. The future is here. Let's check it out. Presented by the United States Air Force. I'm here with Omar from Motion Blur Studios, and I'm so excited to hopefully try Black State really soon. But first, let's talk about what the experience was like for you guys to reveal the game at the NVIDIA Showcase. Yeah, I mean, thanks to NVIDIA, we are working on all these cool stuff like RTX, RR, DLSS, and Multiframe for a long time. And we want to show all gamers it's a totally optimized game for everyone. Well, I am excited to learn a little bit more about how you guys have implemented DLSS 4 into the game. We spent too much time implementing right way to DLSS, RTX and Multiframe. And thanks to NVIDIA team, they really, really helping us about too much. And right now we have incredible FPS with this incredible photorealistic footage. Well, for anybody learning about Black State for the first time, is there anything that you'd really love to share about this game? Uh, you should try by yourself, but it seems they think it's too good to be true. It's so photorealistic, they think like it'll be play like PlayStation 6 or 7. They, there are a lot of jokes, but they have right to say that, but they should try. It's because making photorealistic game is something, but making it optimized, that's something we knew. Well, can you tell me anything about the Black State storyline? Um, I'm actually the story writer, by the way. Perfect. Yeah, but I'm not sure to say too much, but okay. let's say, there's a scientist group, they call themselves architects. They called us the main guy, who is ex-military guy, I can say that, for special mission. But they don't know how to reach them because of these doors. There are a lot of doors open totally different places. You know, sometimes you open the door, it opens a big cargo ship. Sometimes it's a lab, sometimes it's a forest, it's a desert. It's totally different levels. It's actually killing us to doing that. It's because you are making a lot of different games, but we want to give them as much as possible because we are an indie game company, real dynamic gameplay. That's why we have more than 110 different killing animations. So sometimes if you kill somebody, you kill me. It's because we are the making the motion captures also. So they should try the game. Thank you so much for showing me Black State. It was an incredible experience and I can't believe I got to try DLSS 4 on an NVIDIA graphics card for the very first time on Black State. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for playing. I'm trying Alan Wake 2 for the very first time on a 5090. Let's see how this works. So the CNN model that was in the past used for DLSS 3.0 and, and previous, it was kind of the original model. It was a, a scaling model that was used from the 20 series, 30 series, and 40 series. And it's very mature at this point, so we know how to predict what it isn't particularly good at. The changes from it to the transform model are very easily felt. The fan and, and the desk just showing the retention of grain, fine detail. But the transformer model moving forward, um, it, it's a baby. It, it's going to be per, you know, massively improved over the years, which is, which is awesome to see. But a nice thing is it's not just locked to the 50 series. DLSS 4 will move that transformer model down to 40 series, 30 series, and 20 series. As well as there's going to be some FG improvements on 40 series, which are also included in DLSS 4. So we, we expect the model will continue to improve in quality and something that we're, we're really looking forward to so gamers can experience a much better quality experience in gaming. I'm here with Zeth and he's working with NVIDIA ACE. Tell me everything about NVIDIA ACE. Yeah, NVIDIA ACE is it's a suite of technologies that we're um, putting into games and digital humans. So everything from ASR models to LLMs to text-to-speech models to bring digital humans to life. So I got a chance to try out two demos. Let's talk about Enzoi. I got a okay. chance to try uh, changing the thoughts of those characters. How does ACE go into uh, making that happen? Yeah, so Inzo uses our small language model, or an SLM. So it's a language model, so um, what happens is when you, when you put in that thought into that smart soy, it basically conditions the model to then choose actions based on the description you put in. So it dynamically acts and thinks kind of like a human and then provides those actions. I'm assuming that these characters also have a memory of what their experience is like? 
Exactly. So actually, when they go to bed at night, they do what's called a reflection step. So just like if you go and lay down in your bed at, at night and go, hmm, how did that day go? They do the same thing. So they think about it and then change their plan for the next day. And they use that small language model to do that. Now, I would love to talk about PUBG. I got a chance to try. I'm a first person shoot. I'm a shooter player okay. myself. Yeah, so getting a chance to try out uh, a game where I can play with a bot, but it's not just the bot. It's a bot that interacts with you and has a conversation with you, runs jokes with you. Yeah, so actually it's it's similar to the Enzoi technology, so using a similar type of model, but it basically uses a language model to perceive the world and then be able to make those similar type of actions while communicating with you. So it's kind of like a chat bot in that sense that you can talk to it like a person, but then it's also using that same language model to make those decisions. How do you guys plan on using this tool in the future? Yeah, so where we're taking the technology, obviously we want to, we're in video, we want to make it faster, we want to make it, you know, want to make it smarter, but we can see this building into these living worlds. So imagine like a PUBG where, um, you know, multiple of the teammates were AI or there's some mixture of them, which could be cool, or even a, a more like sandbox environment, think like a game like Rust or Ark or something like that. I could see this whole living world kind of coming to life. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much for talking with me and of I can't course. wait to try some more games. Yeah. I can't believe that I got a chance to try the new NVIDIA RTX 50 series. Let me know in the comments what games you'd like to play on these new cards. Thank you so much for watching and for all things CES, keep it locked to IGN.